on case number 21-09372, P. People v. Nicole Dillard. Counsel, your name for the record, please. May it please the court, John Brewster. Chuck Brown, on behalf of the people, your honor. Oh, okay. May it please the court, John Brewster, P. 36920, on behalf of Nicole Dillard. Good morning. Can you have your client identify herself? I am Nicole Dillard. Okay. Counsel, would you like me to read the charges to your client? We waive a formal reading. We waive a formal reading of the complaint and stand mute, your honor. Thank you. Not guilty plea will be entered. Your appearance is already on file, as these are all misdemeanor charges. This matter will be set for a pretrial before Judge Stephen Swarovski, January 31st, 2022, at 2.30 in the afternoon. Presumptively, that will be by way of Zoom. But read the notice you actually get. We're evolving more towards in-person, so it may be in-person, but most likely on Zoom. Thank you. Mr. Hall, on behalf of the people, please address the issue of bond. Your honor, the people would be asking for a $100,000 bond with the condition of bond release being in an alcohol tether. The reasons given for that, I understand the criminal history. There really is no criminal history for the defendant at this time, but this current offense deals with an issue of public safety, not only for the other drivers on the road, but for the child passengers in that bus. The defendant, in her behavior, showed a lack of regard for the safety of the people in her charge, as well as the other people on the road with her. So as part of the consideration for bond, it is the court's requirement to look at the safety of the public, and I think in that regard, it does require a large bond. And I think $100,000 would be sufficient to deter the defendant from committing any of the other acts while on bond, such as this. Well, okay. On behalf of the defendant, counsel? Your honor, Ms. Dillard is 48 years old. She turned herself in voluntarily today. She did enroll in an outpatient program. She is supported by family, including a husband. She has two grown children. She lives in the area. She lives in the city of Sterling Heights. She is a caregiver for her mother, who needs care 24 hours a day. I think she is taking care of her affairs and is not any risk to the community because she's not driving a bus anymore, your honor. And I'm asking for a personal bond since she turned herself in. Thank you. And her husband is present in the courtroom. And there were no injuries, and it was a minor accident involved in this case. Thank you. Counsel, for the people, these are all misdemeanors. What would prompt a $100,000 bond? There may be multiples of them, but they're one-year misdemeanors. Your honor, this kind of conduct could quickly turn from a misdemeanor to a 15-year felony of operating while intoxicated, causing death. She chose to go to work while she is charged with the safety of children while she was intoxicated and performed that work. She could just as easily go to a bar at lunch, get behind her own personal car, and kill someone else on the road. So I think that her conduct has shown that she does need some type of incentive not to commit those acts in the future. So I think that a large cash bond would be appropriate to prevent her from doing that in the future. Any response? I would object to a high cash bond, your honor. She's taking care of her affairs. She knows that she's got to abide by her outpatient program right now. And she lives in the area, and this is her first offense of any sort. So I'm asking for a very low cash bond or a personal bond since she turned herself in. And as you say, these are one-year misdemeanors. Thank you. Well, we 
there's good points on both sides. I'm going to set a $50,000, 10% bond. Uh, Nicole, that bond is conditioned upon several things. You're not to consume any alcohol. To verify you're not consuming any alcohol before you're released, you're going to have a scram tether on your ankle. We're going to know your alcohol content at all times. Any positive test for alcohol would be caused to revoke your bond, meaning you might just stay in jail until this matter concludes. Obviously, you're not to operate a motor vehicle by way of commercial or otherwise in the meantime. Yes, Either counsel anything further? Nothing okay. further, Your Honor. Uh, Nicole, you're going to have to go with your officer until a bond is posted and the tethers on your ankle. You're all set today. Okay. Sir, I'll meet you upstairs in the lobby. Okay. All right. Right this way. Okay. You're going to have to put your hands behind your back for me. No. You're going to have to put your hands behind your back for me. Lace your fingers like the crane. Do you have anything on you that I should be concerned about? No. Counsel will get you that copy before you go. Okay, should I wait here, Your Honor? 